Good morning and welcome to Blakeney. Good morning. It looks quite light to you, but it's about 45 minutes before sunrise. I'm at Blakeney in Norfolk, one of my favourite, favourite harbours. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm whispering because there's houses about. It's just the most beautiful, still, tranquil sunrise. Um, the tide is going out, so we're in low tide. So what I've got at the moment is an estuary going through. Uh, and in the background, which you can't see at the moment, but in the background there is the most beautiful sunrise. It looks absolutely fantastic. It's one of those sunrises that, unlike uh, Haysborough, needs to be nice and pretty and red and magenta. and this reflections in the water, make it look even better. The boats, which I normally have a problem with photographically because they move around, if the tide's in, the boats will kind of rock, so long exposures blurs them. Someone's alarm's just gone off. <laughs> um, long exposures will blur them. But when the water's out, the boats are resting on the, on the floor, on the bed of the river and therefore they don't move at all so this is going to be perfectly still. That's not my alarm by the way. Right, I'm going to take some photographs, come back to you. <laughs> Seagulls are loud. So I talk you through my composition. I'm just looking down the estuary here, straight to the there's some buildings here, I think that's a hotel. Um, we've got some boats lined up along the, that side. And then you've got the estuary just going down here and the sunrise is just there, look. Actually, if I turn you around a little bit more, you may get more of an idea, so roughly about that. Do be quiet, birds, there's people are trying to sleep. Exposure is F9 for the depth of the field and then we've got a 30 second exposure because as I said before it's perfectly still today so I haven't got to worry at all about camera shake. <coughs> What's great about water is that the beautiful sky is reflected in the water as well so you get a double whammy. weather forecast was very much for this. So if you look in the distance, we've got clear on the horizon and then clouds up above. And that is fantastically perfect for landscape photography for this kind of sky that we want. So I'm hoping this is gonna be pretty spectacular. I could actually move um, further down here. There's a kind of a path, but it's a bit muddy, but I might go and have a look further down so I can get lower to the boats. Um, there's no real point going further along if I just spin you around. And there's a big walk behind me like that, which goes into the estuary. But in actual fact, I'm not going to get an awful lot more out of it than this. I mean, there may be the odd boat, and it may be that I do do that, but this is the main picture that I want to get today, so I'm just going to wait for the conditions to get even better if that's possible. But even if they don't, I've got a cracking shot from there already and it's only half past 10 to five. <laughs> so this is very silty down here, um, but if I'm careful, the good thing about getting down so low is I've got another boat here and actually it takes all of these posts out of the way. Now, even with it being 30 minutes to sunrise, 
I'm getting a little bit of flashing zebras in the camera about um, the skies was getting brighter over there, um, which could mean a grad, but because of the building, I'm just gonna bracket this and then blend the two exposures together. Now, I've said before about bracketing, it didn't work at all, but that was because um, there was lots of movement in the waves and I didn't like, it wasn't blurring it. This is completely still anyway, so I haven't got to worry about my shutter speed particularly. I've just got to worry about the exposure. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop down a little bit just to stop that sky burning out and then blend the two together. Um, but then I'm just gonna wait, to be honest, the sunrise because I think all of these clouds are gonna light up here. Okay, it's beautiful. You can't, you're not here obviously, it's a shame because the estuary smell is lovely. You can smell like seawater and mud and a perfectly, perfectly still day. Absolutely marvelous. Some of these boats are gorgeous, let me show you some. gone out of the sky a little bit. Um, 20 minutes to sunrise. It's got less bright, according to the camera. And those oranges are gone, but that's probably because there's some clouds. I'm hoping that what's gonna happen is once the sun comes up a little bit more, all of the clouds you can see there are just gonna light up. So now it's just a question of waiting and seeing what we get. There's some low cloud coming in. I think what's good about today is the high, there's no high cloud. Um, high cloud can normally stifle everything, but low cloud just makes a really good subject. The composition is almost 50-50 because I'm actually, um, the reflections in, and, the, and the sky are kind of balancing each other out, but I'm going to probably gonna put the top bit of the, of the sky in the top third of the picture eventually as long as I don't cut the bit of the hotel out. Um, but a 50-50 composition works just as well here, in my opinion. Again, I can't believe how still it is. It's getting lighter now, I can actually start to see things. You can walk down the estuary, and actually with the drone, it's quite nice as well. Um, you get some nice pictures, so I might fly the drone for a bit, and uh, as long as it's not too noisy, it'll be out right over the estuary. I don't disturb the birds, but it's not really nesting season. Uh, even though the seagulls are not going to like it very much, we should be okay. Um, the slipway is extremely silty here, a lot of sediment, it's very, very muddy, but we've now got four minutes until sunrise and I can already see there's some light underneath these clouds, so I think in a minute this is going to look fantastic. Um, still perfectly still, just going to check my exposure, so I've gone wider because I've got this boat here as a bit of foreground interest. Again, the shutter speed's not that important. There's a few little ripples on the water, but nothing really to speak of. Right, as long as I don't slip over, I'm gonna be okay here. Now to the, what I've got to be careful of with this is the left-hand side 
can be a bit bare, but actually there are some masts that are just sticking up above the horizon. So without falling over, which if I do, will make a great video. I'm going to get this as high as I can to get those masts in because they will just, hopefully, when you're looking at this picture, your eye will wander off to the left and then you'll notice the masts and that will hold it back in again. So, get it level. The main subject really is the river and the hotel. I tilt it forward a little bit. So what I've got now is more emphasis on the boat at the front here. She's called Rosie. Don't want that post in because it will disappear off the top. We've got F14, which is too much really start getting diffraction. F11 is fine, 1.3 seconds. Check the focus, check everything's tight, which it isn't, because I've got that swivel off. There we go, and that looks decent. I don't mind getting a bit of posting because I can always crop it, actually. There is, the exposure is perfect. If I look at my histogram, I've got two masses, which I will show you in a second. Let's get the exposure done. That looks all right. All right, let me just show you what I'm getting here. So if we look at the histogram, I could just use a compensation here, just to go up a little bit if I need to. So that's packed over to the right. I don't want to lose any of the highlights but that's about as far as it needs to go. And let's do a picture of that. Self timer on. And there we go, there's the previous. So we're F11, ISO 80, one and a half seconds. Looking gorgeous. So I'm gonna wait another five minutes until sunrise. I don't think it's going to get any better after that. I've had the best of the light. So pleased I got here early. The colour in the sky at 5 o'clock, 4, 4.45 really, was beautiful. It's one of those days where a pre-dawn sunrise works better than an actual sunrise in the end. And sometimes you get that. Sometimes you could be an hour before sunrise and nothing happens. But I always feel that you should be on site at least an hour before. Anything more than an hour before is a waste of time because um, there's no light whatsoever. But the light starts to appear about an hour before sunrise and there's nothing worse than being in the car and driving and seeing a beautiful sunrise and you're still getting to your location. So um, if at all possible, it's good to get up. Um, this time of year is not so bad. I mean, it, we've, we're now starting... So rather, rather an abrupt end, I'm really sorry about that. The battery died at the Z30 and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna finish this at the office. So here I am doing it now. Um, just gonna share some images with you. So it's a really lovely place, a really peaceful and quiet Blakeney Key, apart from the car alarm at the start, of course. Um, I'm just gonna show you some images which are pretty much the same. There's some different compositions, different crops slightly, skies slightly. So I'll talk you through the two or three that I chose out of the shoot uh, and tell you why I chose them and then you can decide what you think. Maybe leave a comment below if you want to. Um, and then after that, there's an interesting image with an interesting story attached to it, which I hope you'll enjoy. Um, so let's do that now. Here we go. So this is the first image that I took on the day. It's about three quarters of an hour before sunrise. Beautiful colour, beautiful sky. Uh, mask on the left to hold the eye, a mask on the right. The problem with this image though, and the reason it doesn't work so well for me, is I don't think there's a main subject. The eye tends to go into the middle of the picture and goes, what's it looking at? And then quickly loses interest. Um, I do like the colours on the right and I do like the colours on the left, but the sky is not strong enough for me. So. I've moved on to this one, this is slightly later in the day, and I really like that S shape in the clouds, 
But for me, there's too much negative space bottom left. There's nothing doing there, so it either needed zooming in a little bit. Um, I think I was looking at the mast to try and hold the eye from the left, and I was a bit sort of uh, carried away with that, I think. So I tried this. So I put one of the boats that were tied to the quay in the bottom left-hand corner to try and just fill that negative space up. But for me, it competes too much with the hotel and the main scene. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at with this. So this is the main image that's going on my website, uh, cropped in a little bit better. I, I don't think negative space is a problem bottom left, and I think the main subject is very clear. Beautiful sky over the top. So once the light had come up, they got the long lens out and did a few shots just around the key like that. Um, and this is the shot I was going to talk to you about. Um, I was only when I was processing it that I had a look at this and I thought, what on earth is that on the top right hand mask on the boat on the far side? And I zoomed in, this is only an owl, it's an enormous great owl. And I looked up and I thought it's either a long eared owl or a short eared owl, it's quite big. Um, but they were brown, so I put it in the Blakeney Facebook group. So, anybody tell me what owl this is? Surely it's not a fake. And guess what? It is. They came back and said, no, they've put a load of these around the harbour to stop the seagulls who are, are a bit of a nuisance. So I thought I had an owl there all the time watching me. In actual fact, it's a piece of plastic. So there we go. Not an owl after all, or certainly not a real one. <laughs> Thanks ever so much once again for, for tuning in. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the, the vlog as much as I do. You know what the hardest bit about this vlog has been? It's been these bits and I see no seriously that's not right is it and then um, just leaves me to say really thank you very much for coming uh coming <laughs> not bad so as you can see not easy <laughs> okay till next week then when I'm going to be in Yorkshire I'll leave a little preview of what to expect for next week um, in the, on the screen in a second. Thanks ever so much for tuning in once more. Thanks for subscribing if you have. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Like the video. So until next week, be good to each other. Enjoy your photography. Bye.